this computer. So let me share my screen. Um, let's see, get that there. Okay, so this little uh, CSV file that I made from my program that I wrote um, uh, recently to, to do stuff for the high holidays to go off of uh, spring equinox, new moon at dark conjunction and starts the day at sunrise. Um, and so I, one of the things I can do is do it for whatever year I want. And so um, I got the 1827, 1828. Now, 1827, um, September 22, right, you know, just as the clock turned mid, right past midnight or somewhere just a little after um, is when he got the plates. So mm. um, the interesting that shows here, so you can see I have two columns, Independence and Jerusalem. So one question I've had for a while about the calendar is do you have to go off at Jerusalem, okay? Um, and so when Joseph Smith got the gold plates, I believe helps answer that question, okay? And the reason being is if Joseph Smith got it just a little bit after midnight on the 21st, so just barely the 22nd, right? That fits mm -hmm. right here, okay? On, on the independence um, point of reference for when to start the day, right? Mm -hmm. Which then also, you know, goes along with the moon, okay? Now, mm -hmm. if we go look at Jerusalem for the 22nd, look, the day starts at the 22nd in the morning, which means getting the gold plates wouldn't have happened on trumpets. Mm. Because you see here, um, if you go by Jerusalem, the day starts in the morning, but if you go by Jerusalem's okay. calendar, um, we had it gone by the morning, so it would have been at 7.08 in the morning. Joseph Smith had already gotten the plates because he got them a little after midnight, according to records that I have uh, come across, where if it's in the day starts in the morning, and you go off of your local area, right? Or I, I wouldn't say it has to be like so local as in like your house, but as local as a place that God designates. Because if everybody just wanted to go off of their own location, everybody's going to be different places. So the two places I think are valid are Independence, Missouri and Jerusalem, right? Um, for those in the restorations, those are the two obvious places locations right so if joseph smith got the plates just a little after midnight on the september 22nd um going off of independence um time or as a reference it's day of trumpets when he got it but if you go off of jerusalem uh it wouldn't have be because um, it would have been too early. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. So, uh, because of calendar stuff I've been working on, I've decided to sidetrack on a little, uh, calendar post about this, um, because it, it, scriptures aren't clear on this point. Okay. Whether, you know, one just Jerusalem to go off of or you can go off of other locations and here's an event in history that we believe in that shows it can it can be localized right it doesn't have to only be Jerusalem where the scriptures don't um, specify that I, I've seen some claims of that and when I go look at the verses that people use to claim it always has to go off of Jerusalem uh, it doesn't work and in my opinion they're proof texting or they're trying to put their theology into the text right well why would you have to go off of jerusalem's 
time anyway because the moon you see the moon and she, you go should tell it by where you're at in my opinion not even reading scripture well <laughs> yeah okay so um there's a couple thoughts of when new moon is okay mm -hmm. the two most common ones are conjunction which philo do you know who philo is uh i think i remember the name from astronomy class <laughs> uh okay well philo and this important thing about philo right here is that he was a, a jewish historian at mm -hmm. the time and he was alive when jesus was alive and he has okay. uh, some writings that i can show you that shows that new moon is at the dark conjunction okay where a lot the of dark people, conjunction is like does that what's um the dark moons is that yeah, what dark conjunction dark. is okay uh, like when the moon is between the sun and the earth right okay where most people think it's got to be the first sliver that is an orthodox tradition that happened uh, after the temple second temple was destroyed and was written down around 200 or 300 a.d where philo was a long time before that right mm -hmm. um it, and there's documentation that the sadducees and the pharisees always argued how things should be done after the second temple was destroyed because when the second temple destroyed all the records of how some of these specifics on how they're supposed to be done were destroyed um anyways so um that's where the Sadducees and Pharisees started fighting about things and um, and changed what was uh, true into their traditions. But Philo is an older, um, is much older by hundreds of years than the Talmud, which people go by uh, to go for first silver um, and first sighted silver sliver, um, which even the the rules about having people seeing the site um doesn't make sense because how, how they have to travel to go report it and they can travel on the sabbath but there is actually no constraint that you can't travel on the sabbath as people claim but um let's say that there was though they wouldn't get there in time to tell the people that it was the sabbath so even the rules that the talmud has about reporting of the that wouldn't have worked huh it, for silver or sliver yeah. it wouldn't have worked yeah no, um, no which to me shows that it's just a false tradition yeah. in addition to there's an older one that i think actually makes more sense and oh there's a, a fall a psalms verse i i should know this one by heart but i can look it up but it, it talks about how um that the full moon is on the 15th if the um if you go by the first sliver that would put the full moon at the 14th instead of the 15th so it would make it earlier if that makes sense because time had already passed you there i am here oh, okay so uh -huh. anyways um I figured with the calendar research I've done the last little while, I, this could be a nice little way to kind of end some of that is do a little post about this event and how it's important to help us know that um, we can go off of local or more localized than just a Jerusalem because I you can't just do wherever. Um, because then everybody would just go off at their own house right uh, I think it's going off of sacred locations in particular temple locations um and with restoration we know there's going to be a temple in independence missouri so that's why i go by that no, it's okay. uh, location myself okay. well and another thought i've had that kind of goes along with this and i've done some searching i can't find anything um i i haven't found anything to where that the ancient could predict sunrise and sunset. I mean, they hadn't figured out that cycle. 
they like there is evidence that um they knew of the lunar cycle they had that predicted in fact the newark um what's the word i want um monument i guess you could say uh do you know what that is i don't think i do uh so you know it's in ohio if i remember correctly let me just um make sure i spell it right and we can go uh, get some pictures of it but it's um a whole bunch of features in this one place that they used to that the lehites used to track the 18.6 um moon 18.6 year moon cycle um uh, and um rodman um was the guy that does heartland i can't rodman meldrum rod meldrum that's what it is he he does tours there which i, I actually want to go see skin. one day um on my skin oh there we are so here let me just so you can know about it back here so i've read stuff about I bought in some books about this site to help better understand things. Um, so, uh, like, here's one where they're showing the moon. But anyways, um, here's a nice picture of it. Uh, there's a lot in this that actually teaches a lot of the basics of the gospel, which I could go over oh. with you one day. Um, yeah. But the big thing, reason I started looking into it is because um, of calendar issues. Mm. And they track the sun and the moon with it. Mostly the moon, though. Mostly moon rises and moon sets. But they have all the moon rise and moon sets for the whole 18.6 year cycle what? of the moon, which is a really big achievement. Um, especially... People, most people today, they don't even know that uh, the moon has an 18.6 year cycle to it, right? Um, <laughs> take that laugh means you didn't. Nope. <laughs> um, here, here's, fact, Glad to know most, I'm not the only one. <laughs> oh, yeah. There, I did it still until I started researching this stuff. Yeah. So I have a good, an, a nice little. There we go. Uh, video here. Um, so I'll just show it real quick. So this gives you okay. an idea of the complexity of the the moon. Okay, that's probably enough unless you want to see more. So that gives you the that's good. Yeah. But you you see it for one, it's not do you know what the ecliptic is? Yes. Okay. So it's the moon doesn't go with the ecliptic. It goes on an angle. So the what they call the lunar plane. Mm -hmm. Um it's on an angle of the ecliptic ecliptic on I, I don't remember the degrees it's on but it's on a uh -huh. an angle uh, mm -hmm. which complicates things um huh. all the math with it and then also do you see how it's turning and it doesn't just go around the turning stays consistent it doesn't um go around with well it's going around the sun I, hmm. you know what i'm saying yeah <laughs> it's going around it's the earth it's going, going like this uh, no yeah. just the the plane um does not stay like perpendicular to the sun it, right it's, it's it's staying constant basically the whole time as it's going around but that that makes all the 
the math more mm. complicated, but anyways. Yeah. Um, mm. Not that I understand all the math, <laughs> I guess I don't, <laughs> but some of it I do, some of it. Uh, so some of it, do um, you know what curve fitting is? No. Uh, okay, so curve fitting is basically like you don't know the exact equation to get what you need, but you have one that's close enough that it works, right? Uh, uh, yeah, okay. Okay, so there's some of that going on in this math, like uh -huh. really drastically. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, so basically, kind of what you could say is that they, they got a whole bunch of data, right? Mm -hmm. And they gave it to a computer and said, go figure out how to predict this. <laughs> Mm -hmm. They come up with some weird equations. Now, some of it makes sense and some of it doesn't. Um, I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> uh -huh. um, I'll believe it. Yeah. In fact, when I was uh -huh. looking, working on the, some of the math equations, uh, I learned a, a, a trigonometry um, identity that I didn't know uh, or I didn't learn uh, in high school or college. <laughs> so there's uh -huh. got some advanced math and um i know it's a trick identity because i did it i did the math by hand like the three different cases and i tested it with <laughs> the identity that was in the official one and it was always the same so i'm like okay that's got to be an identity that i i didn't know about <laughs> anyways i went and reviewed some of my trick stuff <laughs> yeah <laughs> let, let me see um I still have it. I, I even drew up a little thing of all the, um, oh, I still have it here. I'll just show you just out of curiosity if you wanna. Uh, do you remember trig in school? I didn't do trig. Oh, you didn't? <laughs> I no. did geometry and that's as far as I went. Well, well I guess geometry uses trig, so. Um, oh, maybe I did some and didn't know it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just show you this. So I did this to, to handle the three different cases to, to and then tested it with the, the, which ended up being a trig identity. But mm -hmm. so there's the three cases for the math. Um, Cause here, here's one triangle right here, right? Which mm -hmm. if you have this, this, and this, you got to go do this other math to go get the second mm -hmm. triangle to go go get this this angle right here okay and i can go mm -hmm. over that if you want but you're probably not too interested and then there's the simple one well here's the right angle and then here's the other one right where the earth where the moon's in front of it instead of behind it like it is over here mm -hmm. uh, i worked out those three cases and ended up being the same as the math that was there so it, it, mm. it was an identity that I wasn't aware of. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, I I actually kind of thought, oh, I I I, I solved the little uh, errata. Do you know what errata is? Basically, bug um, and and code that's out there. And then like, oh wait, they just have it simpler. They're using a trick identity that I didn't know about. So I was like, oh, mm -hmm. dang it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anyways. Um, Anyways, all the fun little details, but um, I will know that they, from all this work that I've done, um, and I put it on my little Sabbath page. In fact, I'll just share that real quick. But um, I have learned that the World's Last Chance program, mm -hmm. they're using the 29.53 equation of which is the average of the moon cycle mm -hmm. for their mm -hmm. new moons mm. where i'm doing much more precise than that um, huh. in fact I, I mean and i found that out by um looking at the moon's uh times which i mean that's not too hard but mainly because i was checking out the 1827 that's when i noticed it I'm like, ah, oh, they're, they're doing 29.53 average and which will throw off your new moon time and thus day 
off it could throw it off by a day hmm. um, wow. because the lunar cycle ranges if there's an average that means there's a, a lower one and a higher one right so sometimes it's 29.2 here let me go check i don't have that memorized <laughs> hmm. No, sometimes it's 29.27 and sometimes it's 29.83. Mm. I have it here on this page. Anyways, I don't know if you're too interested in that. But <laughs> <laughs> I, with me writing the program to, to do it, I, I am interested because I, I want that yeah, accuracy. For sure. Yeah, um, for sure. Because um, I, I don't know. It, um, in fact, this page right here that I did, after I wrote my program, I changed it. Because going off of the calculations I got from other people online, mm -hmm. it had the new moon time at a different time and it made jerusalem be on a different day it was on friday oh, but with oh, my wow. calculations it put it on thursday hmm. and i trust my calculations a lot more because <laughs> they're I, I can you can go see they're doing 29.53 all, okay. all the period which is hmm. the easiest because basically mm -hmm. that's you know you probably remember algebra uh, y equals mx plus b that's all they're doing is y mm. equals mx plus b um, mm. and with that video we saw right <laughs> it's a little more complicated than that <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah because um, like see here it's going it's changing its relation the cycle the moon cycle to the sun look at that the plane is right, like right there. It's different, so it's going to change the period. Um, so, anyways, I, I I wanted to get it as accurate as I could, um, and I've gotten it as accurate as I can be. There's a little bit I could possibly make better, but it wouldn't change when this when new moon is. It would just change the amount of the moon that we see um so uh, so the mirror the the mirror the, the moon's a, a, a sphere right and when the light's shining on it here and we're looking at it here um with all the the trig that's going on um even though let's say it's like 75 percent you won't this what you see with your eye won't be 75 percent if that makes sense I'm probably not explaining it very well. Um, yeah. um, uh, oh, but like the sine and cosine cycles, right? They're in curves like this, right? Yeah. You, you remember that? I think so. Yeah, and that happens because of the nature of the circle and the way that you look at it. And the same relationship happens with us, our, the sight that we have on the part of the moon that has the light. And, and its cycle for like example uh new moon day mm -hmm. if you don't actually oh no i not new moon day i mean um full moon mm -hmm. just looking by the naked eye it looks like full moon is longer than it actually is and a lot of that is because of that um sine and cosine cycle um at at the apex it looks like it lasts longer visually mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, and especially when it gets converted into the um, the fraction that we actually see, it looks like it's there longer than it actually is, um, which is an argument that I have against uh, the new moon being the full moon, because you 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 can't tell by your right. eyes your 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 eyes alone that when it is. Um, mm -hmm. Anyways, um, yeah. So and that, anyways, <laughs> I could show you math, but you probably wouldn't be too interested. And like I said, I, I can't explain it all. I can explain some of it, 
but every single little bit, I, I don't understand at all, um, but that's okay. I don't need to. <laughs> uh, you just, it's just something you just do or die. <laughs> type yeah. Of thing. Yeah. Well, I'm going to have to bow out. It's getting late enough for me to put my head down. Go to sleep. Uh, okay. All right. Well, hopefully I'll be able to see you again next week. Okay. You have a good week. Thank right. you. Take care. Bye-bye. Right. Bye-bye.